Hello, this is Nelk911 and today I'm bringing you a Minecraft uh, video about traffic lights. I've done this in the past and with the recent updates I've decided to give it another try. So here I am on my loyal trustworthy donkey Scotty and I'm riding the light. Oh, red light. and green and I can pass through yay happy me so now I'm about to show you how these slides work exactly and how you can build them so let's start with this one this is the basic lights if you have what have you, if you have seen my uh, previous video then you already know this but I'm going to tell all about this another time. So, as you can see, we have pistons with uh, redstone torches and they are connected to the underground. As you can see, and I just totally demolished that. So, Yup. So, as you can see, we have uh, a signal, and the signal goes here normally. Look, so as you can see, we have a clock running around. Um, you can decide how long this clock is yourself. I just made it uh, randomly, but you can decide it yourself. Um, then, very important, one redstone part where the cable is. Uh, the, this is the the red line I call it. Uh, it's all the yellow blocks. It's where the lights are all connected. So, this point is very important because this is the point where uh, all lights are. Uh, calculated on. So this uh, redstone goes here then by using a NOT gate the signal is able to go upwards and negate, negate, negate. Ju you just have to count right so it uh, comes at the right time. No problem. And as you can see the lights work perfectly just because the lights uh, counter affect each other. So, uh, you can see the cable runs through here and here is another NOT gate and that also goes up entirely to the next light and the same for this one. So this is the clock. Take another look if you want. But remember that it's always important to have one output to, because else the lights won't work at the same time. So let's move on to the next slide. I don't have to knock anything of this actually. Um, it's slightly different from the previous one. The previous one um, would have put the, the block here and then the redstone light one block further but um, apparently you can put it right on the the other piston so this piston works from the top instead of from the side um, it's just what you prefer to be more fun or realistic or uh, what is used in your country more commonly but as you can see the same works here the torches negate each other and then um, uh, the redstone connects it to this block which is then again used in a NOT gate so this redstone uh, activates this piston and when this is off the NOT gate activates and activates that piston so it switches around then the final one is my uh, two in one uh, light. Um, I have to be looking, as you can see, 
if you want to save uh, room uh, for this slide or this slide you can place uh, um, black carpets or whatever color carpet on it so it will actually take less place but um, now let's see as you can see whoop, falling down so here we are back at the clock and as you can see I have it divided it in two parts because uh, as you can see they work separately from each other they have uh, blah, blah, blah. they have um, they work differently um, this one is because as you can see right here um, the one uh, one line uh, supports the red light and the other supports the green light why not use the previous method because they are standing right next to each other they're not uh, above each other but they're right next to each other and it's much difficult if you have to use one line especially since I decided to use another row so we have this side as well and here I have used another so these lights are right next to each other while this light they are crossed from each other I've tried making lights that are right on top of each other but unless you use some kind of mod uh, a mod that like a um, redstone paste uh, it's imp fairly impossible or if it's possible please tell me in the comments and then I'll look after it but I haven't figured out how it's possible so for the moment we have it like this um, and then we go back here back to our original lights hmm? uh, let's start with this red light it also it activates the green light on the other side so no problem for that the other line it goes up another stage as you can see um, activates this not gate I have actually no idea why I did it like that while well, it's also possible like that okay so and that counter activates it okay now I'm going to tell you what you need to build this so what you actually need is just black wool, red uh, lime, redstone torch, sticky pistons and of course a clock you need a clock so here is an example of a clock and you've seen the one underground okay so I'm here at the underground clock and let's start building so I put uh, a redstone here I put a block here doesn't matter which block as long as it's not a, uh, a redstone block um, now as you can see yeah, the block is there I put a block on it and it's negated you place another block above it and you continue this until you're above ground next you take your sticky piston important that it's a sticky piston and you place them on the torches and then it's simply putting the colors on it and you're finished so it's actually it's very easy to to make um, this one is the same so you have the pillar goes up just place a sticky piston right here and then place the color same here this knot gate is not at all hard to make you see just uh, this redstone torch one redstone one block again no redstone block uh, you place the torch at the side of it don't place it don't place it like this because that will have no effect this will make it so uh, the block uh, counters it so it becomes a knot gate and 
that's how it works. Um, and then I'll tell you now more about the two-in-one light because that's a lot more difficult to make or it seems more complicated. Okay, now imagine that this redstone line is coming from the clock. Yeah? You place a block, place a redstone torch again, creating a knot gate. Place a block, redstone torch, block, redstone torch, block, redstone torch, uh, and ta-da. Now you can build one higher if you want. It all depends on on what height you want your uh, your pistons to function. Next, so you have this one. Then you need to build another one. So what you do is do this. Keep keep some distance. Pom pom. Okay, so now I have to lower my redstone lower, lower, lower because it needs to be uh, lower than this one here or higher, it depends, but I decided to go lower so one torch should be getting right there so place a block place redstone torch on this side place another block and this torch on top of it not on the side look another one and as you can see they're not the same they have to be different for this to work Okay, so now we have this and we can start placing pistons. So piston number one, piston number two and piston number three. Those were the three easy pistons that you could build without problem. So you can already put it. It's just important that you take in account that you have to counter these unless you have this street and that street to have the same lights but that's kind of bizarre I would say okay next we're going to build our next light and we do that like like let's see like right this one is unnecessary Yes, and I place a redstone torch there. Then I place this right there. And voila. Here is your light. Then you can decorate it with black wool or yellow wool or white stuff. It depends on what color you want to use. It's all up to your own free will. I'm not an architect so I'm not going to, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not really good in designing stuff, so um, I'm keeping it like this. Um, so now you know how I build my lights. These two are pretty standard and fairly easy to build. Um, this one is a little bit com more complicated, but um, if you look at other videos like for example Sevling then this is just a monkey could do it as a matter of speech I mean even I could do it um, but that's it yeah oh my Scotty ran all the way over there but that's no problem I have one special thing for you you see this yeah I've got something special I've got for you the most compact light you can have just two fences and a block all I have to do is press this button 
A -da. Magic. Goes in the clock and then Pow. It changes light. So these lights were all made without assistance of command blocks. So you can build them on survival servers. It's a very it's it's uh, you don't need that much materials. You just need some pistons, some um, yeah, decoration blocks, and a green and a, a red light. Uh, and with this, you only need two command blocks. Um, I'll show you what they do. So I use the set block command. Um, these are my the coordinates. Um, as you can see right now. So my those are my coordinates. You can see it's. Um, you can see uh, how they work. Um, this is the name of my block. It's a uh, wool block, so its ID number is uh, 35. And then for the color, you put a space in, and then uh, you type in the color code for uh, uh, red. I think it's 14. Yes, for red it's 14. And this block does exactly the same but then it uh, replaces the red block for a green block and of course here is another timer um, I've been thinking you if you have uh, seen Sevlings videos then you could build a stopwatch and then you wouldn't need this you don't need to build this fairly large clock because I can imagine that if you want for example 20 seconds of uh, one light going on um, it will be much larger so the longer the time span the longer the bigger the uh, clock so Sevling's stopwatch would then be a, a better alternative so I would advise you to watch his video about that because it will learn much more but many people in my previous video asked can you put a yellow light in it I can't do that with these big contraptions because if I have to put a yellow light in here I would have to build a computer and I want to build um, easy projects if I have to build a computer just to have working lights then then nobody would use them because it's fun to have lights but this clock already on multiplayer servers will probably take a lot of I don't know I haven't tested it on multiplayer but I think it will cause some lag but if you if you have to use a computer with for to have just a li yellow light I can imagine it's a much uh, bigger problem because everything becomes at least twice as large I think so for command blocks that's not a problem it's just putting the yellow lights somewhere in the clock my yellow light is right here and here is my example block now it's red and it's green yellow and red so feel free to use that to be honest I prefer this stick because it's much more clear but if you want a more uh, realistic perspective this is also n of course nice to have the moving pistons to show the lights especially since with the if you have the wool around it it looks very authentic because the block becomes much brighter and much uh, when it pops up and uh, darker when it uh, uh, retracts but this is also cool um, you perhaps have seen that uh, the command places uh, text in my chat but you can use commands to turn that off so let's cancel this clock 
and then I have one final clock it's um, a small add-on it's if you have heard from races Formula 1 all those races like that you want start lights I can show you how you can build start lights with another contraption of uh, redstone repeaters in the back but I've decided to go for the command blocks because the set block option is really really useful so again deet, deet, deet. and we're off Yo, there we go um, again very simple to make we're using the set block the positions of course the place where they need to be those three and then again the ID of the block and then the space for the color ID um, I don't advise you to use a point or double point because a uh, double point is an indicator for damage so if I would put in 35 the double where if I can find my double point hmm oh caps lock is on double point five it won't work see doesn't work so no double point just a f space and then five um, this is not a clock because I, uh, we don't want to have these lights running forever we just want them to count down one time and when they are all, all back to black we don't want anything we just want them to stay like that until the start of the next race so all these blocks are the same only they move one coordinate they so the place is different and this row of commands blocks just sets the blocks to black and you put them uh, on all the same time because you don't want them to turn off one by one because you would have to wait a long time before you can start your race then so that's it that's it for this video hope you liked it if you have any suggestions feel free to make a comment in the comment section and me and Scotty already disappeared in the horizon we'll bid you farewell and see you next time bye